Hello, welcome. Read the problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. All right, so this says explain how negative a to the four-thirds can be evaluated using properties of rational exponents to result in an integer answer. So integers are positive or negative whole numbers. Rational exponents are exponents that are rational numbers, which we have right, right here. So let's look at the math first of all. So you have negative a to the four-thirds. And the way I would think about this is that we essentially have negative eight to the one-third root. So I'm going to put negative eight in parentheses, raise it to the one-third. I'm going to move this over here. Oops, guess not. I'll just rewrite that. <clears throat> I need some more room. So it's going to be negative eight parentheses, so around the negative eight. Take that whole thing to the third root, and then take all of this stuff to the fourth power. So what, what am I doing right here? Well, you might remember that the laws of exponents tell us if you have some base a to the m power, and then you have that whole thing to the nth power, that this is the same as a to the m times n power. So for example, let's say you have 2 to the third power, and then you have that whole thing to the fourth power. This is going to be equal to 2 to the 12th power. 3 times 4 is 12. I'm kind of reversing this thinking. Imagine I started with 12 and I wanted to kind of decompose that number into its factors of 3 and 4. I'm splitting the exponent into its factors. 4 thirds can be split into 1 third and 4 because 1 third, right, times 4, what does that equal? What's well, 4 times 1 is 4 and then really you can think of this as over 1. 1 times 3 is 3. It's 4 thirds. So I've just written this exponent as a third times four. Why do I do that? Well, in, in, in general, what I like to think is that if I have a rational exponent, my denominator, I think of that as the root that I'm looking at. And the numerator, I think of that as essentially the exponent or the power, right? So the power that we're raising our base to. And this is not official language. This is my thinking, because the whole thing itself is a, is a is an exponent, but the reason I say it this way is because the third, uh, the third power, a to the one third, negative a to the one third, excuse me, that means the third root of negative eight. You're solving, you're finding what number times itself three times is negative eight. So that's that's negative two. If you think about that, negative two times negative two is positive four, right? Negative two times negative two. That's a positive 4, but if you have negative 2 multiplied 3 times, that would equal negative 8. This positive 4 right here times another negative 2 equals negative 8, so that works. And I find the root first, and then I take that and raise it to the fourth power. It's a little bit more manageable. Negative 2 to the fourth is positive 16. If you think about negative 2 multiplied 4 times, <clears throat> this time I write a multiplication in parentheses instead of x's. This is going to essentially equal 4 times 4, which is positive 16. So, so what's the general strategy? You have um, a base to a power. Try to take the root first, right? Then apply the power up. You want to take the root first generally to scale your number down. So negative 8 scaled down to negative 2. And then that powered up by 4 to 16. And some of the things that came up here are we have x to the 1 over n. In our case, we had negative 8 to the 1 third was the third root, but any number to the 1 over n power equals the nth root of that number. So for example, if you had 16 to the 1 half, that would equal the second root or square root of 16, which is 4. Now in this problem, they asked you to explain. So the math does speak for itself, but you could say something like, well, 4 thirds is equal to a third times 4, so I use the law of exponents. You can even point out what law you're using, which is right here. And then you could say, first I took the third root of negative 8, which is negative 2, and then raised it to the fourth power to get 16. And that's it. The reason they do that is because they want to make sure you're not just plugging things into a calculator, but understand what is happening mathematically. All right, thank you.